Hi, I'm Stacy, host of Two Chicks and a Goat. Please subscribe and hit the bell below so when we make a new episode, you're notified. Today I'm going to be talking about the J-hooks and how I installed them on the back of my truck. I've had a few people email me and asking how I've done that. So we'll be get... Going kayaking? No! No, we're not going kayaking. <sighs> He's been like that all freaking winter. Anyways, watch the video and I'll show you how we get this all hooked up. So if you want to see the video number one, there's a link below. That was me showing the entire kayak uh, mounting system for three kayaks. So this is just how to mount the J hooks onto my racking system. So I got the racking system from Canadian Tire and the J mounts actually from Amazon. It was really nice cheap um, pricing actually for for set. Um, but what they came on, they would not fit onto this mount. So I had to change uh, how they sort of configured. So I'll show you what I did. Okay. So this is the bottom of your J mount. So normally you have another plate that goes over here. Your roof rack runs through here. And then your plate goes over top and then your two bolts, these two bolts that come with it, go through here and clamp the two together. I no longer have that piece where I'd show you. So the difference is now you need this to sit on a much wider, a much wider track. So you undo these four bolts if you've already put it together. Um, take this off. And all I did was actually I measured across and try to get the center of this piece. I spaced these out and that's if you don't have holes already. So um, mine I drilled through. So I literally etched a line down the middle so I knew it was down in the middle. And I wanted to keep a good distance because if they're too close then your center, if, if this rocks you can te you'll tear them out. So I kept a good distance in between here. So I drilled these two screws out, holes out, sorry. And then I put the existing bolts from here in here. And they like they they wiggle and wobble. So then I measured my distance. You can do it two ways. Either measure your distance and measure it onto your racking and you can drill your holes. But a good spot is to do a test run where you would like this to sit. So here. So do a test run where you need this to sit. So that way you know where it's at. Once you have your test run, just mark it with pencil where this is going to sit. Then you could take your two bolts and mark them where they need to go. So once you have where your two bolts need to go, make sure they're straight. A good idea is you can put nail polish on the bottom of these and actually tap them down on the aluminum and it'll leave two little marks. So once you have your markers, you will then drill out your holes. So you, if this is aluminum, it's actually quite easy to drill through. It'll be nowhere near as hard as the other plate. But you drill through your holes and you can see I've, I've had to move mine. So I originally had it here on my old pickup truck and my new pickup truck my mount had to come in so I had to re-drill some holes it didn't affect how I it held the, the kayaks so once you have your holes in you will take your J-hook feed the screws in it is easier than it looks because I'm holding the camera okay <laughs> okay so once you have it in it sits flush so you make sure you sit flush but the good thing is 
you have such a wide railing on here that this sits pretty good. Like I don't even have it bolted in right now. And it's it's pretty sturdy. So all you do is then put your washer, your washer and your bolts on here. Now, if you have a lot of bolts sticking out, I recommend putting a larger washer, then a smaller washer, and then this. But you definitely need the washer in, just so it helps for, you don't want it to pull through the aluminum. I haven't had any problems with this system ever. I think I'm on four years running this now, three kayaks up here, all my paddles, all my gear, so life jackets, everything, all I'm here, safety devices, everything in, uh, uh, runs on top of my truck. And then our bikes go below. Now, I will recommend one thing here that to do. So watch my rack, <laughs> my rack. <laughs> okay, see this, see that play? That is because the two bolts in here, after time from the kayak shifting side to side in the wind, they come loose. Every year I have to retighten them. And I found out at the hard way, we were coming back from up north once, and in my mirror I can see this was swinging out almost an inch to side to side, so I had to strap it down to be able to get home. So I do recommend when you're putting this together, Put Loctite in there if you're not taking it all apart every winter. I take them off my truck, but I keep them assembled and then I hang them on my wall in my garage. As you can see, see the other ones up in there? That's where they go every year. So I pulled this one down so I can make this video for you guys. And this one, uh, since I do not have the Loctite on, on this side, I will be taking it all apart and putting Loctite in those two screws but that out of all the time i've ever had it it's only these two never the bottom it's always been these two screws in here so from when you assembled it you'll know what i'm talking about and you can only tighten them down from the top which means you have to take this guy off which is a pain in the butt sometimes so um because you have to slide it out but i've got to tighten these two up before it gets put back on my truck again so it's a simple setup. Um, now I would say the hardest part is drilling through the J hook bottom plate. Um, so you just gotta you just get yourself uh, a good drill bit and it's a little bit harder than it sounds right now because with uh, COVID, you gotta order the freaking thing online. So you gotta make sure you order the right size. But more or less measure your bolt that you're looking at and get about that size or slightly bigger. So that way your bolt slides in nice and easy. Uh, the same concept is it's the the hole in here is the exact same size as the drill bit and the bolts as well so it fits perfect so that's how i put my j hooks on for my two outside kayaks now the center guy here which i've had these so these actually come came with our kayak and i've had them on here for the three or four years i've owned this the only thing I've ever had to replace, as you can see, <laughs> are the zip ties every once in a while. Uh, but I do not leave this system on my truck in the winter. I take it off every winter and it comes in the garage. Otherwise, these would probably be rot. Um, but our center kayak slides in here and it'll be fine. Like I said, we have Goose's. It's a little bit smaller kayak. We are getting her full-size kayak. So this year, I know for a fact, it's going to come up and literally just touch these I, i've had christiana's kayak in here in the middle and i know it does fit one of the pelicans uh, so they fit in there so you, the more expensive your kayak is probably a little bit skinnier there and more aerodynamic through cut through the water so they will fit on here actually better um goose is probably the most expensive kayak that we have the other two that we have mine and christiana's are like pelican brands from uh costco or uh, Canadian Tire, that kind of stuff. And they're awesome. They're great for what we need. But I, I really hope that this shows you how to get this going. If you have any issues, just put a comment below. And I'll reach out to you and uh, assist uh, any way I can. So hopefully this helped. See you on the road. <laughs>